Hey friends and fellow crafters, welcome to The Craft, DM Scotty here. I have a really cool crafting material I wanna tell you guys about. And you don't buy it, you make it, okay? So it's been around in the crafting community for a while, but it really hasn't, we haven't really used it in our crafts, but it really has some great properties that I wanna tell you guys about, okay? This is the stuff, all right? And it's a clay. But let me tell you the, the special things about this clay. One is it's air drying, so you don't have to worry about you know baking it or that kind of thing like Sculpey. It's super, super hard, right? And that is great. It's far stronger than Sculpey, all right? Uh, you can drill it when it's dry. You can drill it, you can sand it, and uh, it's fantastic. Also, it has another great property that I'm gonna talk about in the video, okay? I'm gonna talk about what fantastic property this stuff has. And uh, let's hit the table, and I'll show you how to make this stuff. And this stuff is called cold porcelain, and you can make it with stuff that you probably already have around your house already uh, as a crafter. So let's hit my table, and I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool material, crafting material, crafting clay, uh, called cold porcelain right? All right, crafters, to make this magical substance, you're going to need a few supplies, and you're going to start with a mixing bowl and a container to keep the clay in when you're done because you don't want it to dry out, right? You're also going to need a mixing cup and measuring spoons because you'll need to measure out the very various ingredients in this craft, right? Also, you'll want some spatulas. Uh, just buy some cheap spatulas. You don't want to use these with food. You just want to use them with this craft. I tend to keep this stuff all together in one place so that I can do it again. And you're also going to need cornstarch. That's the main ingredient. And white glue. Okay, it's probably more economical to get a big jug of white glue than to use the individual bottles. But a couple of these bottles will make a cup. Also, you're going to need an oil. You're going to, I use baby oil. You're going to need either vinegar or lemon juice. Uh, that keeps the mold from attacking the clay. The lotion will help the clay from sticking to the surface in your hands as you're kneading it out and getting it ready for uh, use. Also, uh, you're going to want some plastic bags, some sealable plastic bags. So you'll want to put the clay in a sealable plastic bag and then put it in an airtight container. That's just a double insurance that your clay won't dry out on you. So my personal favorite cold porcelain recipe is one cup of cornstarch, one cup of white glue, one tablespoon of baby oil or olive oil, I use baby oil, one tablespoon of lemon juice or vinegar, and I use vinegar. So uh, yeah, that's just all you need, and I'll, you know, a lot of these things you probably already have around the house. Once you measure everything and pour it into the bowl, just mix it together in the bowl with your spatula, and uh, you're going for like kind of a nice, smooth, kind of pancake batter texture, right? That's about what you're gonna have when you're done. So once that's done, that's when we're going to move on to the uh, cooking phase. Now the reason we needed that nice microwave safe bowl is we're going to cook this, right? And there are stovetop recipes, but I prefer the microwave and you can look those up online if you want. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cook it for about a total of two minutes, but you don't want to cook it all at once, right? Some people do it for 15 second increments, some people do it for 30. What I tend to do is do the first minute at 30 and then to do the last ones at 15. That way you get it started, a nice start on the cook and then you can just heat it up a little bit as you feel it's getting closer to being done. Now that's the real trick is when it's done, right? Because it starts to get lumpy, but you don't want it to get too hard, right? You don't want it to get too cooked. So you're going to want to thoroughly stir between each session in the microwave. So each 30 or 15 second in the microwave, you're going to want to stir really well. And that will give you an idea of how the, the cook is coming, right? If it uh, looks lumpy enough and looks ready, then you can start the kneading process. So this was my last 15 second cook, right? And this is the exact texture I'm going for, right? It's lumpy and it's also pretty sticky. And that's exactly what I want. It's, it's warm, so be careful. It might be hot, so don't burn yourself. Let it cool off enough that you can work it because we're gonna knead it, right? So let it cool off for a second and then prepare your surface uh, to knead. This part is definitely the least favorite of all the steps for me because it's really, really sticky. So what you're gonna do is put the lotion on your hands and put the lotion on the surface, right? And what you're going to do is scoop it out on the surface and then start to knead it, okay? It's going to want to stick. It's going to want to stick to your hands. It's going to want to stick to the surface, <laughs> okay? And it's just going to feel like, ugh. It's like, just feel like you have this just 
super sticky on your hands, just keep working it, keep working it, and it will finally come together, right? It will, your work will pay off. It'll finally come together in a clay that's usable for you. So it's well worth the process because I'm going to show you guys how great this material is. Whew, by the end of this, there's a great feeling when you finally have the clay where you want it, right? It's, uh, it's ready to wrap. Okay, so here's what we do. We slather it down with some lotion, the lotion we put on our hands, kind of do it in like a bun shape, right? And then I'm going to pop that in my plastic bag, and I'm going to put it in my airtight container. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit for an entire day, okay? And after it sits for a day, it'll be all ready to use in your crafts. So my little clay baby has been sitting for a day, right? And it's ready to check. It should be all ready to go. So I pull it out of the bag and there's a test you can do to make sure it's ready. You kind of pinch it and then pull it apart and it should uh, make points on each uh, piece you pull apart. So this looks great. This looks like perf it's perfect consistency. So we are ready to craft with this. So I want to tell you guys why I love this stuff so much. For the first, it's super hard, right? It's way harder than polymer clay, right? If you um, have like horns or teeth or any kind of thin areas like that and you bang them on a hard surface, they are gone. They are going to shear off. This stuff is not the same way. You can make like horns and teeth out of this stuff and it will not break that easily. So that is a great uh, a aspect of this clay. Also, another thing I really like it, it, about it is that it's semi, it's kind of translucent, right? So it looks like bone and torn and teeth, right? And it takes paint super well. So that is a really cool aspect. You can use it for horns, teeth, uh, claws, um, you know, all kinds of stuff, eyeballs, you know, that kind of stuff where you want that kind of translucency uh, white and uh, just fantastic. So just this, this clay has a lot of great aspects. It also, you don't have to bake it or anything. It just air dries. Um, now it does shrink a little bit, but I really haven't had much of a problem with that cracking and that kind of stuff. If you make the clay right, it shouldn't crack, even if you, it shrinks over your uh, armature that you use to make some kind of model. Now, friends, I have some great crafts coming up with this stuff, but I want to give you a sneak peek of what I have in the near future. You guys might recognize this worm. It's the purple worm, the new version of my purple worm. So can't wait to show you guys this stuff out of this cold porcelain. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow,